Hi, this is Jim Stringer here. I want to demonstrate some of the uh, new features of Telescript Tech. Uh, I'm running on a Windows 8 computer, uh, which has been somewhat of an issue for uh, almost all manufacturers. I've got Telescript Tech already installed, and uh, my registration code is in place. I'm going to double click on the desktop icon. And you can see it going through. Now I want you to watch the controller as it, as it boots up. The controller goes through an initialization sequence. This is uh, uh, Telescript West new controller. This is a 12 push button controller specially made for uh, Telescript software. Uh, and uh, as you can see I'm on the opening screen here. I'm going to reload the last script I was working on. One new thing with Telescript Tech is that now there are menus to help you out in the opening sections here. I'm going to just basically show you through the uh, controller functions. Uh, I've loaded my one of my example scripts. I can go to the prompter quickly by pressing the A control here on the controller. You notice it went it directly into prompter. This arrow here is start. It's a digital pot. As I don't know if you can see on the video, but the scrolling in Windows 8, this is an untouched uh, ATI card, Windows 8, running at 32-bit full resolution with uh, font smoothing enabled. Uh, the speed control is the digital pot here. You can change the gradient of the digital pot. There's an outside ring, if you can see this, that is a jog control. I can move forward quickly, backward quickly, and it stops at that point, and I can resume scrolling at that point. You can also uh, press, you can also uh, stop, continue your scroll, so it continues at the same speed it stopped. I'll return to the editor with the E key. There is a, uh, as in other Telescript software, there is a um, memory marker and as you move forward from the memory marker and press return it goes back to where you set the memory marker. There's some other interesting controls on the uh, controller itself. This is open script which you press that and you'll get the script open button. Uh, I can load another script here. Since this is uh, black on white this is the inverse key it's inverse. There's also, uh, as you may recall, those of you who use Telescript PC and one thing and another, there's a font zoom key here, which doesn't just zoom the font, it actually changes proportionally the size of the font throughout the script. When you save this, and I'll point out at this point, this is the save button right there. And so you can save it back at your new resolution on the on the, I'm going to go back to the uh, Descartes script just because it's a little bit, or let's go to Wells here, that's a good one. Uh, this is another new button on the controller and it's new for Telescript software. This is what I call the quick zoom, which the quick zoom can be set to a uh, depth of your liking. When you press on the quick zoom key, it goes to the preset zoom in. You can go down and make your changes. Let's say I'll change here at the word it and when you zoom out that line is put at the top of the prompter. This is great for uh, quick edits on the set. Uh, once again just to go back to the prompter now prompter, roll, and scroll. That's how easy it is. Telescript Tech is great for quick video shoots. It's great for rental houses because of the extremely quick learning curve. It will load RTF text files and doc files and docx files as well as any other file that uh, Converter is installed for. If you have any questions, go to telescriptservice.com uh, or call Telescript Software at 512-302-0766. Look forward to having a lot of you using Telescript Tech. Thanks.